Okay, good evening. Again, Tatiana Larcon. Good evening. Said. Good evening. Thank you for being early. Good evening. Uh, to the class. So we are going to wait a little bit, like two more minutes for everyone to connect to start the class. Hopefully we will have a very good connection because I know that it's been raining heavily and it's been causing some problems with the connection, right? So we are going, hopefully we will, we won't have any problem um, with the class. I don't know if it is raining where you are right now. It was raining like an hour ago uh, here where I am in Santa Ana, but probably you are, probably it's not raining there, right? Is it raining there where you are, where you're receiving the class? No? Good evening. No. No. It's quiet right now. It's, it's, it has calmed. So good evening, Noe, Mr. Edgardo. We are going to wait a couple of minutes just to check. Good evening. We are going to wait a little bit more. Good evening. Um, we are going to wait a little bit more just to check if just to work for uh, more students and we are going to begin right with the class. Okay. Um, we are going to begin right now. We are going to review a little bit of what we studied yesterday. And also we are going to continue with the homework, right? Yesterday, uh, the homework was about um, making a wish list, right? Una lista de deseos tenían que hacer. I wish I had uh, more money. I wish I were in a different city. I wish I had another job. I wish I I was in, um, for example, I don't know, I, I, I were on vacations. So different structures that we are going to study right now. So we're going with a little, we're going to start with a little review right now, just in case we have more participants, uh, participants joining to the class. I know that uh, we have had like, or some people have had uh, connection problems because of the rain. So probably that's why they're, they will have problems connecting to the class. But we are going to, to begin right now, okay, no problem. I'm going to start sharing my screen just to do a little bit of a review here. So this is what we were studying yesterday. Um, we were making comparison with adjectives and nouns. Um, we were having like some examples and we were doing a little bit review of uh, evaluations with adjectives with enough and to, and also with nouns and uh, countable and uncountable nouns. And also we were studying about comparisons with adjectives, right? We were studying the structure with as, Adjective and as, right? Que es tan conveniente como, ¿verdad? It was tan y el adjetivo y como. So that's the structure that we were studying before. And also we were making comparisons with nouns, right? También con nombres podemos hacer comparaciones. For example, over there, houses have just as many bedrooms as apartments, and it makes as much noise uh, here as it does outside. So um, we were studying that also with countable and uncountable nouns. We have differences that we have to pay attention in those structures. Tenemos que poner atención, ¿verdad? En eso. En los contables y los incontables, ¿cómo los usamos? And this was like a little explanation, right? About comparisons that if we say as and as, it's like we're saying like it's the same, right? The same quality. And if it is in the negative, uh, statement is we are expressing that it's not the same. This apartment is as beautiful as the old one. It means that it's, um, it's the same. It has the same level of beauty, right? And this apartment isn't as bright as the old one. It's saying that it's totally the opposite, right? And also with uh, countable and uncountable nouns, right? Apartments don't have as much space as houses. Much is with uncountable nouns, right? Remember that. And uh, this new house has as many windows as the old one. Many is with countable. So that's what we were studying yesterday. We did a, a lot of, well, the structures, also the formulas that probably you already know because you've been practicing the platform. Have you been doing the exercises? Have you been completing it? ¿Han estado completando los ejercicios en la plataforma? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, teacher. 
Stop, teacher. You already <laughs> finished. Wow. You already finished. And yeah. also you you completed the midterm? Yes, I completed the midterm. It was it was easy or not? Yeah. Uh, so so. So so. so yes. I was checking that you were you were helping each other there in the WhatsApp group. So that's good, right? Probably sometimes I, I don't have the time to to answer all of your questions. So it's good that you help each other. So that's something that we are going to evaluate uh tomorrow. I, I will ask you some things and you will explain to me, for example, what a count countable noun is, what an uncountable, what is the difference. Um, also, uh, what is comparison with adjectives? What is the meaning of as and as, right? So I can, uh, I will ask you about that. And we will probably, we will, we will have time to practice more like the speech today, the speaking, right? Also, uh, yesterday we did these exercises, so it was really good. Now we are going to check the homework, right? We have, I don't know how many people we have here. Okay, there are many people connected right now. And we are going to uh, start with the homework. I just need some um, some volunteers about the homework. We you have to me, teacher. Was it out there, Tatiana? We have to. We are going to begin with you. We have to write about three wishes, right? What are your wishes, okay. Tatiana? Uh, first one, I wish I had a lot of money to buy a house for my mom. Okay. Uh, also, I wish I had. I wish I had time to enjoy with my daughters. Mm -hmm. And I wish I traveled to Spain with my family and spend time together. Okay, very good. That those are really good wishes. To you wish you had uh, money to buy a house to your mother, right? And also, you had yes. uh, more time with your daughters. You don't yes. have. You you don't spend too you, do, don't you spend much time with your daughters right now or do you no because i work a lot and i study at the university too yes you have a lot of responsibilities so yeah probably you yes. even even if you organize time uh probably you you don't have that much time so in this case you have to change the amount of uh, of time and you have to exchange it for quality, right? You have to spend quality time with your with your daughters. Okay, I understand. Very good wishes. Thank you, Tatiana. Now we have Carla Merino. What are your wishes for today, Carla Merino? Okay, my wishes are I wish traveling another country, in especial in New York, because my father lived there, and I have a lot of time I couldn't see him. And another wish is um, I wish to live with my mom because I, I love to spend my time with her. Other wish is um, I wish have an excellent vacation with my family and enjoy with them. Okay, so you wish you had a, 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 an excellent vacation with your family and also you wish to travel to New York, right? Have you traveled before yeah. or this will be like the first time if you do it? No, it will be the first time. It will be the first time. So it's a wish. Okay, very good. New York is a big city. Probably you will be able to visit it there and practice your English, right? And um, what yes. was the second wish that you, you mentioned? Sorry. Um, I wish uh, I was living with my mother. You wish you lived with your mother. You don't live with your mother anymore? No, no anymore. Okay, yeah, probably because um, you miss each other, right? So yeah, that's another good wish. I understand, very good. Thank you yeah. for your participation, okay. Carla. Now another volunteer, okay. please, another volunteer. Teacher. Okay, Noe, go ahead, you can go ahead. Okay, teacher, I, I wish to travel um United States. I wish to talk, uh, talk English. Uh, I wish to have a cat in my house. Uh, I wish could I wish I could uh, sing very well. Uh, I wish to have a big house for my family. Only picture. Okay, so you wish you had a big house. You wish uh, you mentioned that you wish you had a cat in your house. No, I have not. 
Okay, but you wish you had a cat in your house or a yes. car? A car. A car. Uh, sorry, I heard a cat. I... A new car. A new car. Okay. A new car. <laughs> a new car. Very good. Yes. And you said that you wish you could sing. Yes. Okay. Do you like to sing? Um. Very. Um. I like uh, uh, sing a little. A little. Okay. Very yes. good. What kind of music do you sing? Do you sing? Uh, romantic. Romantic music. Okay. Uh, very good. So you wish you could sing for your for your wife, probably, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Noe, for your okay. participation. Okay, now, uh, another person, please. Another participant. Another participant, volunteer for the homework. Me, teacher. Okay, Rosaura. Rosaura, go ahead, Rosaura. I, okay, I, I wish I had a big house with huge garden and pool, too. I wish I spoke fluently English and I wish travel to Europe with my family. This is okay. Fun. Okay, very good, very good wish. So you wish you had a big house. My house is 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 small. Then this is my wish. <laughs> okay. With with enormous garden and pool too. A pool in an enormous garden. Okay, yes. very good. And do you live with uh, your family there in your house, in your small house? Yes. yes. Okay. How many per, how, how many people do, do they live there? We are six. Six. So yes. is 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 big <laughs> enough or is not big enough for your family? It's not big enough. It's not big enough. Mm -hmm. I imagine. So you need mm -hmm. more privacy, okay? And also you yes. said that you wish you spoke fluently. You're yes. mean the English, right? Yes. Uh, I am studying um, before, but it's difficult to me uh, speak. I I try, but uh, it's difficult. But it's, this is an opportunity <laughs> for yes, me. This, this is mm -hmm. an opportunity that it yes. means that you're doing something to do that right because probably you were studying but this is a new opportunity you need to practice that's it and yes. you are doing it so very good thank you for thank your participation you. Rosaura. okay another participant please me teacher who said me teacher oh maria okay maria. okay go ahead i wish i, I travel for all the world I wish my son was a good lawyer. Mm -hmm. If I wish I gra 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 I graduate on language English. Okay, very good. So you you wish you travel the world for all the world. For around the world. So it's not for all um, the world, around the world, right? Mm -hmm. Around. The world. And you wish right. your son were a good lawyer. Where is? Where? Yeah, almost, yeah, we are going to explain that. Okay, so you you wish your son were a good lawyer? Good lawyer, yes. Okay, and you wish uh, you graduated from England. Uh huh. Okay, very good, very good wishes. Thank you, Maria, for your participation, okay? Very good job. Okay, next one, we have Rosa Maria and then Lisette. Okay, Rosa Maria, go ahead. Okay, I wish the traffic uh, was not uh, so hard to get up to my office because the traffic is terrible. I live in Ciudad Delgado and my job is in Santa Tecla. Um, I like my my house because it's big enough for my family, but I wish I wish my house were too small when do I have to clean it. Okay, yes, I understand. And your third wish, or that's it. Okay. That's it. See. Si. 
Yes, okay. only that. Only, only that. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you wish you wish uh you wish the traffic was or were not so hard because you travel right from Ciudad Delgado to your job. Yes. Okay, I understand that. Yes, it's kind mm -hmm. of difficult. It's kind of complicated that. Exactly. And also, uh, you wish your house is big enough for your family, but you wish your house were smaller to clean it. Yes. <laughs> so how often do you clean your house? Do you clean it every day or? Um, I try to every day. Yeah, I imagine that kind of difficult, right? It's very difficult. Very difficult. Okay, probably your family can help you next time. Yes. So thank you for your participation, Rosa. Okay. Uh, we have Lisette also. Go ahead, Lisette. Uh, good evening. <laughs> um, I wish to travel to Europa. Mm -hmm. Um, I wish to go to the uh, Kevin Car concert mm -hmm. or concert Kevin Car. Mm -hmm. I wish my family to work and I wish uh, to uh, a professional job mm -hmm. and I wish to learn Korean. Uh, the okay, very good. So you, your first wish is to travel to Europa. How do you say Europa in English? Um, Europe, um, Europe. Europe. Europe, right? Europe. 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 Yes. I <laughs> wish Europa. I traveled Europe. to Europe. Very good. Ay, qué pena. No, it's okay. It's okay here because we are learning. It's okay. Learning. And we are learning. I'm yes. Learning. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, even teachers, right? Or even native speakers. Sometimes they don't know words. So it's okay. And you wish you 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 went to a concert? A, a concert, that's what you said? Yes, concert, the third class. What is the, the no name puedo of the, ir. What is the name of the singer? Or the group? Uh, uh, ¿Cuál, es el, yeah, ¿Cuál es el nombre del cantante al que no puede ir al concierto, dice? Kevin Clark. Kevin Clark. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Kevin Clark. So probably next time, right? Probably next time. So we <laughs> were in the concert. Very good. Thank you Escúchalo. for your... Va a amarlo. <laughs> I will I will try. I will write it right now. And then okay. I will give you my opinion next, next class. Kevin Clark, right? <laughs> Okay, see. Okay, Kevin Clark. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation, Lisa. Okay. Now, um, do we have another participant or that's it? Carla de Alegría. Okay, go ahead, Carla. Go ahead. Escucha, teacher. No listening. Yes, it's kind of Carla. Uh, can you because I can hear you, but you're 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 I can hear you like you're very far away. Are you far away from your microphone or okay. now? Okay. Yes, now it's better. Okay. Yes, uh, I wish uh, I spoke English fluently. I wish I had a car. I wish I lived near to the beach. I wish I had it. I wish I could get get a better job, and I wish I could write, and I wish I were a sweet person, and I wish I travel to another country. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation, Carla. Your last wish was, I wish I traveled to my mother's country. What no, is to your... another, no, to oh, another country. To another country. Which country would you like to travel? I would like to travel to French. I would like to visit a Tofford first. Uh, how do you say? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you say Torre Eiffel in English? Eiffel Tower? Yeah, Eiffel Tower, in Eiffel Paris. Tower. Yes, in Paris, right? It's very famous. And you will take a lot of okay. pictures 
and you will upload into Instagram, Facebook, all of them, right? Yes. Yeah, probably. Yes. I wish. I, I wish. I. 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 I yeah, day. go ahead. <laughs> Yes, I would like to visit that country someday. Yeah, probably. Uh, probably you will be uh, you will be able to do it. I I wish I travel that country also. Uh, there are yes. some rumors about French people. They say that they are also uh, mainly in Paris, right? People from Paris they say that they are kind of rude with um, visitors with foreigners <laughs> but pro probably you will you will let me know once you travel probably you will let me know thank you carla for your participation okay, thank you okay now we have edgardo okay go ahead edgardo with your homework okay yeah i wish i finished the english course as speak friendly as my teacher okay very good <laughs> very good i wish i had a job in a home office modality mm -hmm. and i wish i had a car to go to the beach wherever i want uh, i wish i live in another neighborhood less noisy mm -hmm. and i was i i wish i finished my university career okay that's it <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. You you wish you finish your university career. What is your university career? Yes, engineering computer system. Okay, engineering and computer systems. And you would like to go back and study um, or finish your, your career, right? Yeah, but first of all, I have to go back to study because I, I already don't do it okay yes it's kind of difficult right because you have to review everything and check all the things again and also there are new things there are some probably some things that you weren't studying before now it has changed right so yeah that's a very good wish but it's kind of complicated but it's a wish that you have probably you will yes. be able to do it in the future and also you wish you had a car to go to the beach right yes what, what is better for you the beach or the mountains because in el salvador we have both that's really good right so what's what's better for you uh, uh, for me it's better the beach uh, it's prefer you prefer i uh -huh. prefer than than the mountain yes okay because probably you have you can do more activities right like go to the yeah. beach do this play that eat different kind of food but in the mountains it's like just to relax to see the Exactly. Yes, the mountains, the sky. Yeah, I understand. Very good. Thank you for that information, Edgardo. And do we have another participant or that's it? Someone else wants to participate? Teacher. Who said me? Oh, Maria Cecilia. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Maria. I wish I have a one sister because I have only brother, three brother. Oh. And I wish I had visit my brother in United States because they live in this country. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had a, a new car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Only that. Okay, you wish you had a new car. Okay, I understand, very good. Thank you. You wish you had you 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 had one sister because you only had brothers, three brothers. Yes. And how was it for you being only one girl with three brothers? Was good? Was not good to have three brothers? It's good. My brother is very very um uh, quiet and um um more uh protection with me protective yes they take care of you with me yeah they're and i i i don't know say which the sister mm -hmm. um um I, I don't know i have a um uh and don't remember Tia, aunt, aunt, mm -hmm. but uh, sister now. 
Okay, you had an aunt, but not a sister. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I I had um um good uh, friends. Mm -hmm. Good friends. No, not is um I have um sister in law. Oh, okay, you had a sister in law, and you are good friends with her. Yeah. Okay, yeah, probably you can share some things with her, right? Also, mm -hmm. you said you wish you visited the United States because your family live uh, in that country. Yes, only my family speak English very well, but <laughs> I need communication <laughs> in this play. Yes, and do they speak Spanish? Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they yeah. among them they speak in English, right? And they what are they saying? They're like that, right? Yes. Probably. I have a problem which I I visit my brother in Arizona mm -hmm. because more people know speak English, mm -hmm. speak Spanish. And um I I feel very Mm, stress yes or not understand yes it's difficult right it's difficult when yes. you because when you're learning english it's like okay i will learn english i will mm -hmm. talk only in the class but when you go outside to another country and you have to speak english and they I speak mean. english please speak english and you say okay i don't know yeah. right I don't know. It's a stress. It's very stressing. It's yes. different. It's different in 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 receiving a class. The is um, de esta manera. Mm -hmm. eh, que sentir the different pronoun the different country. Yes. Yes. The mm -hmm. pronunciation and everything. The pronunciation. Right? You speak quickly. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's different. Yes, it's different. It, it, very good point because here in class, you speak slowly, probably, mm -hmm. and the teacher speaks slowly, everybody yeah. slowly, right? But when you're in the real conversation with somebody else, they speak really fast and they this and that and that, and you don't understand a lot of words, right? So that's that's why you have to get used to it. You, you have to practice a lot. I understand it's kind of kind of a difficult, but that's that's the way it is that's the the hard way <laughs> sorry but probably you will you will practice with these classes that probably they will help you a lot and the last wish you said that you wish you had a new car mm -hmm. so okay. you you have an old car right now um no it's um so so it's good <laughs> it's good it's good for you yeah it's okay good. so yeah I, something that is I, I I watched a video today. It was it was saying that something that we can do in Latin America is not to have a car because there are a lot of buses. But mm -hmm. in the United States, they don't have buses. They they just mm -hmm. one bus one hour in an hour, right? Mm -hmm. And no buses. And if you go, if you want to go to the supermarket, mm -hmm. and if you want to go walking, it takes forty minutes to go yeah. to the supermarket. So everything is very far away. So you need a car mm -hmm. there. Yeah, we don't have the, that many buses in the United States. So, yes. thank you for your participation, Maria Cecilia. Thank you. Very good. I liked it. Very good. Now, um, do we have another participant, or that's it? Me. Someone else? Floor, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Floor. Go ahead. No problem. Okay, I wish to have enough money to travel around the world. Um. Also, I wish to win the lottery to construct my parent house as they want or dream. Um, and I wish to have time to visit my parents. Just that. Sorry, you don't live with your parents anymore? No. Okay. And you have to visit them every weekend or every... From time to time. I used, I used to do that, but um when I when my days off were on weekends, but now that I that my days off are during the week, 
I cannot do that. I understand. Yes, yeah, kind of difficult because probably they're they're busy, right? They're doing something else. They yeah. are working. So they are, yeah, they are working. So probably you shouldn't visit them in those days. But uh, we have this. Uh, now we have technology. We have Zoom or we have Facebook, right? Or we have WhatsApp. That would be the only way to to talk to them. But uh, probably in the future, you you will have more more time, right? Yes, I hope to do that. Yes, hopefully. So thank you very much, Floor. Uh, do we have another participant or somebody else? Or that's it? I guess that's it, right? Okay, uh, remember that we are going to keep on practicing. Probably we will be able to do this exercise or if we don't have enough time, we will do it tomorrow, okay? So uh, we are going just to explain this um this structure that we are going to study today is about wishes, right? And I noticed that you did it very well since you have been practicing with the platform and also with the midterm. I guess that that had helped you. The objective for today, it says expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sands explains how to use the verb to wish and in the present tense and combine it with the past tense. Verb to express wishes, for example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. Or I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension, comprehension exercise. So we are going to uh, practice a little bit more right now. Uh, this is a conversation, and as I guess, um, let's see here, Cecilia was uh, talking about this experience that she had in the United States, right, Maria Cecilia? She was saying that over there, everything is really fast when they speak, right, when they talk, and they say, uh, do you understand, do you speak English? So um, in real life or outside, if you go to another country, to the United States, Probably you have many accents and different slangs or words that it could be confusing for you. So we are going to practice a conversation. Practicing a conversation can be useful because you will be able to uh, practice the intonation, also some other words, and to talk more natural. Vamos a tratar de hablar más natural, de copiar la entonación. Si ustedes, por ejemplo, les gusta alguien como habla algún artista, algún actor, ven una serie, traten de imitar la entonación, las palabras que esta persona usa, las expresiones. Uh, try to imitate that, right? So that's the way that we are going to learn how to speak in English, right? Like more natural, not like I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. Like we are reading, right? So we have to be more natural. So that's what we are doing. That's what we are going to do right now. Uh, we have two conversations. The first one is about living with the parents, right? I wish I didn't live with my parents. And the second one is about uh, getting a different job. I wish I had a different job. So the conversation says, uh, so are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be more, to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yes, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? So that's a conversation. What was the conversation about? De que se trató la conversación? About Terry still living with her parents. And he wants to move out because their parent asking, asking him uh, to be at home before midnight. <laughs> Right? Yes, sorry. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so yes, when, when you live with your parents, they 
they uh, give you like some rules. You have to be at home at this time. You have to help with the house. You have to do this. You have to do that. You're not independent, right? So if, when you live in your own house, you can do like you have more freedom, but also you have more responsibilities, right? So that's what uh, this conversation is about. Now, I want two volunteers. You are going to practice a conversation. Do it in a natural way. I, I want someone who hasn't participated yet. Alguien que no haya participado aún. Una estudiante va a ser el estudiante A y el otro el B. Okay. Volunteers? Y teacher. Ok, Jaime. And who else? Carla. Ok, Carla. Who will be A? Jaime, you will be A, right? Oh, yes. So... Ok, I... so you will begin and then Carla will continue. Ok. Uh, I repeat the all... All, all, all este, toda la expresión, toda la expresión, por expresión, yes, you, you will, you will say everything that says letter A. Usted va a comenzar la conversación, va a ser la letra A, el estudiante A, ok. Carla, verdad, with Carla, yes, with Carla, de alegría, yes. Okay, thank thank you. You. Uh, so, are you still living with your parents, uh, Carla? I'm afraid. No, so I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why don't you like uh, living at home? It's okay, but my servants are always asking me to be home before midnight, and I wish they stop worrying about me. Yes, parents are like that. And they expect me to have around the house. I say housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Finish. Very good. Class for you. Very good. Now, uh, you did it very good. You, the intonation for questions, remember? So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? So that was very good, Jaime. You did very good. So why did you move out? And also, Carla, right? Like the intonation, the expression was really good. Like so, we have to try to to do it to do it more natural, right? No problem. Now, um, I need two more volunteers. We have Juan Linares. We have Flor Damian. We have Hector. We have Maria Cecilia. We have Brian. We have Alicia, Rosaura, Tatiana. We have a lot of people. Alicia. Okay, me. who said me? Flor. Alicia, Alicia, right? Yes, and who else? Alicia. Flor. Flor, okay. So Alicia, you will begin and then Flor will continue. Go ahead. Okay. So are you still living with your parents, uh, Flor? I am afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why don't you like living at home? It's okay that my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they would stop worrying about me. Yes, parents, I like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I have the housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Very good, very good. Thank you, Flora. Thank you, Alicia. Very good. So why did you move out, right? So why did you move out? You did it very good. The expressions and also the pronunciation of the words, you didn't commit any mistake. So it means that you know how to, you have a, a large vocabulary to pronounce the words. Very good. Now we have a, a shorter, a shorter conversation. It's about fun in a job, right? Yes. Sorry, uh, and uh, in... in... Okay, yeah, and and the I don't, uh, what is the best pronunciation of and the sentence when it start? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stop war, uh, worrying. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Okay, worrying. stop worrying. Worry. Okay. Yeah, because worry is the verb, right? Worry, preocupar. Mm -hmm. Worry, worrying. 
Okay. Worrying. Okay. Worrying. Stop Thank worrying you. about me. Very good. Now, the next one is um, a shorter conversation. It says uh, about a job, right? And it says, I'm thinking of finding a, a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, maybe. Okay, did you listen? The, did, did you listen to my pronunciation or do you have problems listening? No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't listen. Okay, okay, very good. So we are going to practice this little conversation. Uh, I need two more volunteers, personas que no hayan participado, dos más, to practice it. Juan Linares, do you want to participate? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, who else? Who else wants to participate? Another volunteer? Raise your hand. Brian. Okay, Brian, you will be letter A and Juan will be letter B. I thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I work so whether else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be room remains. Yeah, maybe. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Very good. You did it very good. So we just need to practice a little bit more them uh, pronunciation, right? Like for example, I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? Like intonation, right? For questions, you need to uh, change the intonation. La intonación en las preguntas cambia. I'm not sure, but I wish I worked. I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. Exciting, right? Somewhere. Somewhere, where? no, right? It's somewhere. And then it says, I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Roommates, right? What is a roommate? Do you know what that is? Compañeros. Yes, roommates. For example, if you live in an apartment or in the house, you're sharing the house. You are roommates, right? Because you are not family. You are just uh, sharing the expenses of the house. And just to finish, I just need two more volunteers. Just two more. Los últimos dos. Alguien que no haya participado, por favor. Me. Okay, very good. Who said me? Let's see. Azucena, Azucena. right? Azucena, yes. okay. Who wants to participate with Azucena? Teacher, my teacher. Okay, who said me? Cecilia. Cecilia, okay, Cecilia. Cecilia, you will begin. You will be letter A and Azucena, letter B. Okay, um, Azucena. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of finger a new job. Really? What kind of job, of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked um, some somewhere else. I'm tired. I tire of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, maybe. 
Very good, very good. Okay, now we are going to just to practice a little bit more some words, okay? Finding, what is finding? Encontrar. Encontrar, okay? I'm Encontrar. thinking of a finding a new job, of finding a new job. Okay, Encontrar. let's see. Exciting, what is exciting? Uh, emocionado. Emo emocionado, emocionante. Uh -huh. I am excited. It's like, estoy emocionado, ¿verdad? It's something exciting. It's like, algo que es emocionante, ¿verdad? Emocionante. And roommates, right? We already checked that. And somewhere else, right? Somewhere, en algún lugar más. Desearía trabajar en otro lugar, in a, in a different place. So very good. Congratulations, Maria and Susana. You did a great job. Now we are going to continue with this... Um, structure about wishes right i have somewhere here bye teacher bye maria siguenza i guess it's it's raining probably uh we have some problems right because right now in my house where i live is it's raining but no problem we are going to finish we almost finish yes we are going just to talk about wish and the structure okay the structure is uh, wish, we use wish plus past tense to refer to our present wishes. Usamos wish para expresar nuestros deseos, pero usamos el pasado también, ¿verdad? El único que va en presente es el la wish, ¿verdad? I wish. Y después el siguiente verbo va a ser en pasado. That's the reason why we have a structure. Tenemos una fórmula ahí, ¿verdad? Una, una, un orden de las palabras que dice subject plus wish plus subject again plus verb in the past plus complement. Example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. That is in a negative way. Eso está en negativo, ¿verdad? Pero I wish I didn't live with my parents. Y en, en español uh, no se traduce como en, en, en pasado, ¿verdad? Sino que en español se traduce como yo desearía no vivir con mis padres o quisiera no vivir con mis padres entonces cuando decimos estas oraciones yo quisiera yo desearía verdad yo desearía tener más dinero yo quisiera tener un auto nuevo quisiera cambiar mi trabajo we use wish but remember that we have to use the other verb in the past uh, like examples here right I wish I had time to do my homework Quisiera tener tiempo para hacer la tarea. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo digo eso en inglés? I wish I had time to do my homework. Uh, she wishes she had her family with her. They wish it were Friday. Quisi ellos quisieran que fuera viernes. They wish it were Friday. I wish I weren't sick. Desearía no estar enfermo. I wish I weren't sick. Mario wishes he had another job. Mario quisiera tener otro trabajo. Mario wishes he had another job. And I wish I could ride a motorcycle. Desearía poder manejar una moto, una motocicleta, ¿verdad? So if you see there, the, the verb that is in bold, el, el verbo que está en negrita, está en presente o está en pasado. En pasado, ¿verdad? En pasado. En pasado. Pero en español, ya como cuando lo traducimos nosotros, es desearía tener, desearía poder, desearía manejar, ¿ok? So don't get confused. In English, it's in past. So that's why you have to pay attention in this. That's why it's kind of confusing. Puede ser confuso, pero we are going to practice, ¿ok? Now we have this structure. It says subject plus wish plus subject plus from the past. With the verb to be, vaya, con el verbo to be está, eh, eh, tenemos que tener cuidado. Por ejemplo, if I say, yo estaba en mi casa, ¿cómo digo eso en inglés? How do I say that in English? Yo estaba en mi casa. I was at home. Uh -huh, I was at home or I was in my house. Very good. Si yo digo, ella estaba enojada, ¿cómo digo eso en inglés? How do I say that in English? She was, angry. she was angry. She was angry. She was angry. But now, with this expression, uh, with wish, that will change a little bit. Only with this, 
expression, right? Solo con which va a cambiar esto. For example, it says subject plus wish plus subject plus verb in the past plus complement. I wish life were easier. I wish life weren't so difficult. So we have it in a affirmative and negative. I wish I were on vacations. I don't say I wish I was on vacation. We are going to use where all the time. Vamos a ocupar where para todos. Para I, he, she, it, they. Siempre va a ser where. No vamos a ocupar was. In past tense, cuando estamos hablando en pasado, sí se usa como lo que ustedes decían. She was angry. I was at home. It's okay. But in this expression with I wish con deseos, no. It's always where. I wish I were on vacations. Wendy, Wendy is she, right? Wendy is a she. Wendy wishes she were traveling around the world. Wendy quisiera o desearía viajar alrededor del mundo. Wendy wishes she were. She was, no. Only with wishes, okay? You wish you were at home right now. Desearías estar en casa en este momento, okay? So those are the exception. That is the rule for wishes, okay? So you have to be careful with the verb to be and with the verbs in the past. I have more uh, examples here with the same structure. It's the same structures, right? I wish my parents would stop worrying about me. I wish they would have come earlier. And I wish we would work only for five hours. That is... Um, uh, with will, right? El pasado, podríamos decir que el pasado del, el, del will, de ese modal verb, es would, ¿verdad? Entonces, I wish they would have come early. Y sería que hubieran venido temprano. Entonces, hubieran, uh, I, se dice así, I wish they would have come earlier, or we wish we would work only for five hours. Um, nosotros desearíamos trabajar solo por cinco horas, ¿verdad? So, we have different sentences. It's kind of difficult, but with practice, you will do it, okay? I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had my own apartment. I wish I could move out. I wish it were easier. And I wish it weren't so difficult, right? You are going to, to manage it, okay? No problem. Now we are going to practice. Let's see what time it is. Okay, we have enough time. Transform, transform the following sentences. Use I wish to create the new statements, okay? Vamos a utilizar I wish. Only with I, okay? I want to be rich. Now transform it. Change it to I wish. I wish I could I to be, be rich. rich. Mm -hmm. I wish, we, we can say it in different ways, right? I wish I could be rich or I wish I were rich, right? Very good. Next one. I want my house to be beautiful. I wish I... ¿Cómo se dice eso en, con I wish? Transform it. I want my house to be beautiful. I, I wish, wish I want to my house. I wish I want my house to be beautiful. Yeah, kind uh -oh. of. But I want, um, I, I want, I want my house to be beautiful. I wish I wanted my house to be beautiful. See, this idea. I want it exactly. This idea, tener una casa bonita, right? Or I wish I had a beautiful house. Desearía tener una casa bonita, right? Tener, I wish I had, in past, right? Number three, I would like to have less strict parents. I would like to have I less wish. strict parents. Uh -huh. I, I wish I would like to have less strict parents. Yes, I wish I will, I will have less strict parents or I wish I had Less strict parents. Quisiera tener, I had, right? Padres menos estrictos, okay? We have different ways to say it, okay? For example, I want to live in an interesting city. Quiero vivir en una ciudad interesante. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso con I wish? I wish. 
I wish I, I wanted, wanted to live. Very interesting city. Very good. I wish I lived, ¿verdad? Desearía vivir. Desearía vivir. I wish I lived in an interesting city. Ahí le quitamos el I want, porque el I want se lo he puesto para expresar que yo quiero algo, ¿verdad? Entonces lo tenemos que cambiar con el wish, con el deseo, ¿verdad? I wish I lived in an interesting city. Very good. Next one. I would like to have my own room. I wish I, I had wish my, I own had room. my own room. Very good. I wish I had my own room. Desearía tener mi propio cuarto. Very good. Now a negative one. Una de negativo. I don't want to work a lot. I wish... I, I wish did. I did mm -hmm. to work a lot. I wish I did or I wish I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't work a lot. Very good. I wish work I didn't work a lot. Like this one, right? I wish... I didn't live. I wish I didn't live with my parents. And this one is, I wish I didn't work a lot. You see that the, the same structure, the same one. And the last one is, I can speak Italian, but I want to. Quiero hablar italiano. ¿Cómo digo eso en quisiera hablar italiano? I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I. I Spoke Italian. Spoke Italian. Spoke Italian. Very good. Yes, because the speak the passive speak is spoke, spoke right? Spoke. spoke. Very spoke. good. I wish I spoke Italian. The same structure. Subject I wish. Then again, subject I. Verb in the past spoke, and then Italian is the complement. You see, it's the same structure. Okay, so with the structures with formulas, it's very easy to create sentences now we have here um uh the the different um answers we uh, recuerden que no hay una uh, respuesta en total podemos decirlo de diferente manera ¿verdad? estas son algunas respuestas posibles i want to be rich i wish i were rich i want my house to be beautiful i wish my house were beautiful i would like to have less strict parents I wish my parents were less strict. I want to live in an interesting city. I wish I lived in an interesting city. I would like to have my own room. I wish I had my own room. I don't want to work a lot. I wish I didn't work a lot. And I can speak Italian, but I want to, I wish I could speak Italian or I wish I spoke Italian, okay? So that's really good. You did it very good, okay? So we have to just practice. We just have to practice, right? Now, it's almost time to finish. Uh, we are going to have a, uh, an activity tomorrow. Probably tomorrow we are going to practice more, like, or speaking. Vamos a practicar más. Hay personas, he notado que no uh, participan mucho como otras. No estoy diciendo que eso sea uh, malo para las personas que participan. Pero uh, mañana eh, vamos a tratar de trabajar en parejas para uh, hacer un, um, una conversación. Small conversation, no una gran conversación. Small, right? Small conversation. That would be the homework for today. And also, yeah, we are going, I'm going to ask you some things about previous classes, like section one, section two, section three, just to make sure that if you have any question, uh, probably we can clarify it, right? So I will ask you different questions, random questions. And uh, for tomorrow, you just need to write one wish, una, un deseo. For example, I wish I were rich, but I want to know the reasons. Like, for example, if I ask you why, why do you want to be rich? Why you wish you were rich? Why do you wish that? And then you explain to me that I wish I were rich because I need money to pay my house, to pay, to buy things for my family, because I want to travel abroad, because I want to 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 get money right to buy a house for my mother i don't know or i wish i lived in a different country why why do you want that ah because i want to learn another language i want to see different people i want to uh, visit different places so i want to know why also plus uh, your wish right that will be your homework for tomorrow and also we are going to to ask you some questions right uh, we, I'm not going to ask you something that you don't know, but just things that we have studied before. And you will try to explain to me that. 
So do you have any question about this homework or about this structure? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esta estructura? ¿De wish? ¿O el, el uso de los verbos? Eh, no, teacher. No. 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 Okay, everything's clear, right? Yes. Everything is clear. Okay, very good. I, I am glad to hear that. Tomorrow you will try to explain to me some things. So since everything is clear, I guess that we won't have any problem tomorrow. Okay. So I wish you to rest and I wish you a good night and have a nice uh, evening. Okay. Have a nice evening for everyone. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.